There's plenty of jokes I could make at this thing's expense, but the fact that I got it off of Amazon for five bucks with free shipping is probably the most hilarious thing about this toy. So I heard tell, thanks to the new movie, that Power Rangers is once again the king of the boys' aisle over in the toy store. However, every place I go that stocks the Power Ranger toys has about a thousand of these things stacked up in an endless wall of spiraling gray plastic. This is the Power Rangers movie morpher. You will note, however, they didn't have morphers in the movie, which makes this something of an anomaly. It's rather based on what seemed to be the belly button of their costumes that just happened to hold the power coins. It's a little bit strange, but yeah, this is about as close as they got. So they tried to make a whole morpher out of it. Let's see how they did. So as you can see, it is pretty much just a flat gray spiral of plastic. It's got a big glitter effect to it, so there's a metallic sheen, and inlaid are these molded areas that give it more of a metallic vibe. You have the look of uh, almost like pressed metal inside there, like diamond plate. So you get this interesting little spiral effect. It would be great if it wasn't basically the same shade of gray as everything else. I don't know, like it's just, I understand they're going for, you know, whatever look that supposed Morpher had in the movie. And it's not really captured here very well, I think. This could have been so much more interesting looking with just a little bit of added detail. Oh well, maybe I'm nitpicky. Maybe it'll get better from here, he said, knowing the answer. So what do we have? If we look on the back, we can see there is a belt clip. So this is meant to be a belt toy with no belt strap. And um, that's about it. There's not a whole lot I can really bring up as far as detail goes. There isn't a bit of paint anywhere on this thing. There's a big lever on the top that we'll get to here in a minute, but beyond that, it's an extremely plainly designed device, which is rather disappointing. Before we go on, I should I should uh, explain a little bit. Uh, yeah, these were five bucks on Amazon recently, and with Prime shipping, it's five. It's basically five dollars, you know, total for it. These things went for 25 I think I saw as high as $30 at some stores that they wanted for this. So we're judging it based on that criteria. How much do you get for 25 bucks? Well, the answer is a little bit disappointing. Let me go ahead and turn it on, and we're going to uh, see why. Okay, a little bit of a sci-fi noise there, a little bit of light show. Okay, how about that lever? Let's push it to one side. Spooky sci-fi noises. Really loud sci-fi noises. And it goes on a really long time. Like an uncomfortably long time. Okay, I better push the lever just to end it. Okay, apparently I shorted the thing out because it didn't make any extra effect. Now, when you pull the lever, all this opens up and then closes back again. That makes an interesting effect. And you can see the lights do spin as you push the lever. I will go ahead and tell you, the sound didn't cut out because I stopped pushing the lever. It's automatically going to end there no matter what. I just happened to push it slow enough to stop right at the exact point. I've been playing with this thing a lot, trying to figure out if I could make it any better. Let's see how well I will succeed at that. Uh, so to get anything else out of this, we now need to take a look at the power coins you get with this. Because, of course, you get all five coins from the movie. And for this, I'm going to need a little bit of illumination support. So here we have the power coins as they are seen in the Power Rangers movie. Well, not exactly, but you'll get the idea here. So you have this translucent amber-looking plastic, which kind of works for the dinosaur theme. And then molded in, you have this kind of relief of an actual, uh, well, in this case, a Tyrannosaurus. 
and it actually looks quite good. I actually really like the sculpting on the insides of these coins. It does make an interesting 3D effect. There's even a little bit of shading to it to give it a three-dimensional vibe. That's actually well done. And you can see all the little uh, digital cracks and everything around it to give it more of a alien tech vibe. The one thing I will note about these coins is they are perfectly round, which is not what they were in the movie. They were much more like flat rocks that just happened to have this uh, kind of gooey, you know, candy core to them. So, a little bit uh, inaccurate, but for the sake of being a convenient toy, I guess that's what we make. Triceratops there, looking a little bit out of sorts. It's a little bit crazy on the sculpting on that one. Also, they are actually kind of disc shaped, a little uh, round on top and bottom. This looks like Alpha 5's head, like the real Alpha 5's head. So they do not stack conveniently, as you would expect something called a coin to actually do. Also, something got strange in the sculpting process because two of them decided that they needed to have a full body shot of the creature inside. So the Mastodon here is actually one of my favorite sculpts. It actually looks really, really cool there. but they had to show the whole body for some reason, as they did with the uh, pterodactyl. It's almost as if, no, they need to see all of the tusks and the wings, or else they won't know what dinosaurs these are. Even though a mastodon isn't a dinosaur. It's a technicality, just roll with it. So those are your five coins. Slightly inaccurate, but hey, they get the job done. And you'll note again, no paint. This is all done with molded plastic that has been glued together. So, at the very least, no paint chipping possible with this toy. I guess that we can chalk up as a bonus. Okay, so taking a look back at the Morpher itself, let's go ahead and slot one of these coins in and see what it does. So once again, we open it up to get the standby. Coin plops in like so. And a different noise, wow. You can see the light blowing through it. Now, let's give it a pull. That's the same sound effect. Um, okay, cool. Let's try this again. Uh, in actuality, in order to get the transformation noise, you need to push the lever twice and in quick succession. If you let the uh, if you let the secondary if you let the first effect go for too long it won't play the secondary effect. So, here we go. Okay, so a few things to note here. Number one, why did I have to push the lever twice? The toy could obviously tell that a coin had been inserted, so you actually do, uh, you actually have no reason to actually have a secondary effect with two lever pushes. It knows the coin's in, so just play the transformation. Also, really long transformation noise, not such a long spin time. Even if I go at my slowest, there's no way I can make this thing move along with that long of a sound effect. Like, seriously, like... Yeah, see, you have to do it really quick. You have to keep doing this. Which is going to wear out the motor really, really quick if I do it like that every single time I play with the toy. Also, you'll note the LEDs in the back, four LEDs, all yellow. And you know what that does? It screws up a potentially really cool effect. If the LEDs were white, then this plastic color, this color of the plastic inside, would shine through. So the blue would illuminate, the red would illuminate. So instead... You just get yellow. And it does real good illuminating the edge, but not the core. So, you have this really awkward electronic effect going on here that it seems like it could have been so much better 
it, it should be so much better than this. Number one, it can't tell the coins apart, but it's a Power Ranger Morpher. It shouldn't be a big shock. Oh wait, they just did the Legendary Morpher that could tell color and team apart from each other. Never mind. This, on the other hand, this is just clueless. You get the same transformation every single time. You don't get so much as different dinosaur roars. And, yeah, that's pretty much all you get. I've literally shown you everything the toy does. You know, and what it does, it screws up. Like, if the LEDs were white, it'd create a really cool light effect. If the, LED, if the, if the lever here had a bigger resistance motor to allow you to push it for a longer time, it would spin longer, and it would create a really cool little effect behind the coin. Instead, that's uh, pretty much the extent of what it does. That is what they wanted you to pay 25 or 30 bucks for. Uh, keep in mind, the Legendary Morpher was 35 and it came with dozens and dozens of sound effects. I got about three or four out of this thing, and a really, really disappointing light-up gimmick. So, that's all there really is to say. That's the Power Ranger Movie Morpher, and I can kind of see why it sat around in shelves. I thought it was because they overproduced the hell out of it. Oh no, it's because everybody knew this thing sucked, and even the kids were not taken in by this. Five bucks for that. Those five dollars were sitting in my bank account doing absolutely nothing wrong, and I went and did that to them. I am so so sorry.